So good morning, everyone, and um, Anna, thank you very much for your kind remarks and uh, to the city of Addis Ababa for hosting us here. Uh, without both your support, we wouldn't be here today. My name is Jo Beale, and I've been asked to stand in for Julia Black, who is the deputy director of the London School of Economics and who had a medical emergency in her family and was unable to travel. I'm delighted to welcome you all on the behalf of the LSE to this Urban Age Conference in Addis Ababa. I have a long and close relationship to LSE where I was a professor of international development for many years and um, as the deputy vice chancellor uh, of University of Cape Town, I have a close relationship too with Africa. I'm currently uh, just concluding seven years at the British Council, where in my role on the executive board with responsibility for education and society, I have also played a, a strong role, both in introducing a city's focus to the British Council's work, particularly around the arts, uh, and also uh, in our work in Africa. I'm now a professorial research fellow in LSE cities, uh, and I'm delighted to be returning to the LSE. The LSE was founded in 1895. Its mission has always been since then to look into the causes of things. In the late 19th century, its main focus was on society and its problems. And of course, this was in the wake of the Industrial Revolution and the rapid urbanization of the UK was very much part uh, of, of its investigations. At that time, uh, London had exploded into the world's largest city with six million people, and of course that is the size Addis Ababa is predicted to be uh, in 2030. Since then, as you all know, LSE has become a leading institution, a leading center of social science research and teaching, and with a uniquely international perspective. The school is highly rated for its research and is among the top three universities in the UK. 18 LSE alumni or staff have been recipients of Nobel Prizes, and its graduates include presidents, prime ministers, and business and city leaders around the world. Today, the world is experiencing a more intensive wave of urban growth than ever before, with more people moving into African and Asian cities than ever in the past. And it's for that reason that the school has initiated a new flagship program centered on cities. At its heart is the Urban Age program, now in its 15th year of collaboration with the Alfred Herrhausen Gesellschaft. And it's therefore fitting that in 2018, we've come together in Addis Ababa to discuss the future of urbanization in rapidly developing countries at this conference, which opens today. LSE has had a long relationship with Africa. Um, at the moment, we have at least 200 uh, Africans from around 30 countries come to the LSE on taught programs, research programs, short courses, and fellowships. And um, they, they are available across the school, including in LSE cities, but across 19 other departments. At LSE cities and the urban age, the, there has been a pioneering of a suite of programs that reflect LSE's uh, commitment to rigorous, rigorous research and engagement with policymakers, with public dissemination, with ideas, capacity building, and knowledge exchange, both within the uh, academy and beyond. Its new and highly successful executive masters in cities is now in its third year. There are brochures outside if any of you are interested in looking at them. And um, we are really delighted to see so many of its current and past graduates here in the room today. We come to Africa today at a time of exceptional change and exceptional opportunity, and it's a unique moment for LSE to strengthen its existing links to Africa even further. 
The LSE Faroj Lalji Center for Africa already hosts over 100 scholars from different areas of the social sciences from right across the continent. LSE has a partnership with the University of Cape Town that offers joint degrees and short courses. And this Urban Age Conference is designed to set further our intellectual, academic, and policy collaborations across the continent. I know the LSE and AHG teams have already started working closely with the mayor of Addis Ababa uh, on an urban, um, an urban Age Task Force program for 2019. And we're delighted, of course, to be working with the UN Economic Commission on Africa in a joint research project. So I want to thank you all for coming to Urban Age in Addis and look forward to two days of intense and dynamic discussion on the future of cities. I now hand over to Professor Ricky Burdett, who with Philip Rode uh, runs cities, uh, LSE Cities and Urban Age. Thank you.